It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's time to open another beer from the Brewers Advent Calendar 2021. I'm really pleased to get these beers out. Most, if not all, have been wonderful. We're on day number 13. So let's find beer number 13. Get it out and show you. Now, here we are down here. So this beer is, let's have a look, Land Gang Brewery, Land Gang Pills, looks to be, I mean we've got a picture of a hop here, so it could be a, a hoppy pilsner, it's a 5% ABV, 500 milliliter can of beer, Land Gang Brewery, um, it, I mean yeah. I open these beers. I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm out of my comfort zone. Completely out of my comfort zone. I haven't even got a glass down because it could have been a Weizenbock like the previous beer. Could have been a Heller's Lager. Right, where are we going then? What glass shall we use? I think we'll use our... We'll use our rather lovely Hofmeister glass for this one, I think. One of my favourite glasses, this one. Here we go. Pick the beer calendar up from Costco. It's fifty-six pounds. I mean, halfway through the the month now, or halfway through the calendar, over halfway through the calendar, really. If I'm going to be exact, if you go to Costco, you might find if they haven't sold out, you might find these reduced, and that would be a bargain, wouldn't it? Can you imagine what type of bargain you're going to get for halfway through the month advent calendar? You might pick it up for about 25 quid. You find that with Costco. If you go there and something's not quite in vogue, oh, they'll reduce it down to... I've had some amazing bar bargains in Costco. And by the way, Costco, if you don't know, is an American cash and carry chain. Uh, that, that we have a store in Cardiff. It's it's incredible, big, massive, I mean, Costco place in Cardiff. They sell big birthday cakes, and you can have your eyes tested in there. It's bonkers. You can buy a slice of pizza for a pound. Incredible place, incredible. You can buy a hundred and twenty inch telly in there for well, whatever they sell them for. But it's that type of place. You go in there, never knowing what you're going to get. I come out with this beer advent calendar and a bunch of logs for my fire. Um, two finger white head then, beautiful looking Pilsner. Beautiful looking, look at that for a Pils. Good levels of carbonation. It's a regular glass, this one. It's not got one of those widgy things on the bottom. So um, what you see is what you get with the beer. Beautiful looking beer though, lovely and clear. Let's get the aroma. Langang Pils. So we've done a lot of pill um, Heller's Lagers from this box. And the difference between a Heller's Lager and a Pilsner is that Pilsners have more of a bitterness. Heller's Lager is less hopped and a little bit more kind of malty and sweet. So let's see, let's see if this, I mean, I've drunk quite a lot of these Heller's Lagers recently. So let's see the difference really now between the Heller's Lager and a Pilsner. Aroma. Yeah, much hoppier. Much, much hoppier. Lots of lemons, a dryness coming through, spiciness, pepperiness. Still a little bit of German malt, but it smells tremendous. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. difference i wanted to have two tastes of this beer just just to really make my mind up but yeah there's a clear difference between heller's lager and pilsner this is much more i want to use the word refined 
but I think if I use the word refined, it would be the wrong word. I want to use a word close to refined. It's very cutthroat. It's very precise in what it wants to be. It wants to be really dry. It wants to be less malty. It is still a nice malt character coming through, but it doesn't want to be overly malty. <clears throat> Nicely carbonated, as you can hear. But what follows from that nice, malty, biscuity, bready taste that's not as malty and bready and biscuity as a Heller's Lager, I hope you're following me now, is a wonderful smack of bitterness. It's a beautiful, crisp, clean, decisive smack of bitterness that comes through on the back end. And it's much drier, much more of a dry, clinical, clinical, I think is the word. Spicy, peppery, dry, crisp. I would say in terms of balance, the balance of the beer would be, if I was a tightrope walker, I think it would be slightly like this in favour of the hops. It's definitely hoppier than it is bitter. And the reason why I'm talking so much about kind of the comparisons is that you may have bought one of these boxes. I know there's a lot of comments in the comments box saying, hey, I'm having different beers from different doors. So it must be people just chucking them in or a machine just, you know, they're not going in any kind of order, it seems, from the comments in the comments box for the first 12 days of this box. People who are following this and drinking the same box as me. And if you're having as many, you, you're bound to have had quite a few Heller's Lagers. The reason why I'm mentioning the Heller's Lager and comparing it to the Heller's Lager and the Pilsner is because of the, the amount of Heller's in there. And it's really, it's been a chance for me to really grab hold and grapple with the style. Um, Heller's Lager for me has been a relatively new style. It's been around a long time, but it's come on my radar in 2021. And I know I talked about pills as being bitter, but I've had a run of days now drinking Heller's Lager. And, and I can clearly in my mind, it's like cementing my mindset now in that, yes, Pilsners are, are much more bitter than Heller's Lagers. But still wonderfully clean, wonderfully crisp. Nicely carbonated. And could I drink a few? Did I even give the ABV? Did I give the ABV on this one? I don't think I did. 5% ABV on this one. I, I reckon I could get through four of them. Four of them before I'm reaching for the stout or the porter or the double IPA or imperial stout. You know, before I'm looking for the change. It's an interesting enough beer for me to want to have a few more. I like it, and I like it enough to give it a stone the crows. Yeah, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.